be rolling. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? You can't be embarrassed. Is that for what's that for the side light on my face? <laughs> what, does it need to be lighter? No, it looks fine. It looks fine, it looks fine. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Sunday morning and show you what I eat before we go to the gym so normally on a weekend what I'll do is I won't eat two meals before I train I'll just eat one meal and then train because I want to get it over and done with early in the morning on a weekend to do other stuff but like on a weekday I'll always have two meals before I train um, as we get close to the competition I will prioritize that second meal before I train more because I'll just be starving but at this point where I've got loads of food in um, big first meal which is gonna be eggs turkey rashers for protein um, obviously the eggs for fat as well because we'll use whole eggs also we'll then have a bowl of Weetabix too and we'll have two bagels and jam so let's have it all right cool now you just need to film me like cracking the eggs tss, like that okay so where's the spray where's the spray god where is everything where do I need the scale Oh shit. All right, so we spray the spray light, fry light in, and then we just wait for it to heat up. While that's heating up, I'm gonna just start making my Weetabix. So to make Weetabix, all you do is you put Weetabix in a bowl. And, and then you put milk on him. So. Six Weetabix rubs. Six Weetabix. Just because you live off chocolate and bananas. You know the first time we spent a full day together, she had chocolate and banana for breakfast. What did you have? Chocolate. You, yeah, you had dark chocolate and, choc and, yeah. and banana. And then for lunch, you had banana cake. Yeah, banana cake. <laughs> chocolate banana cake. And that's all you ate all day. Oh, no, and then you had a KFC. And I was like, oh, my God, this, this girl's diet is horrendous. <laughs> In almond milk, yeah, we've got what? For 250 milliliter serving, we're looking at 38 calories, 40 calories. And for now, it's all right. So, like, when you're getting close to the competition, I won't use this. I'll just use water. But I, I won't have Weetabix anyway, but I'll make, like, oats or something. But I'll make the oats with water. I get super restrictive on prep. Like, super restrictive with my stuff. Any little minute calorie, I'm like, yo, that's not even worth I won't even have, like, a monster energy drink because I'm like, it's not worth the two calories. That's got in it, you know, the white ones. Okay, so in every egg, there's about six grams of protein. In every turkey rasher, there's six grams of protein. Um, I should have put the turkey rashers in first. I just rip them up, put them in like this. Flaps like this. I don't like that. It's like a vagina. I hate you. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> <coughs> Oh shit. Right, so 6, 12, 18. So make sure I wash my hands so I don't get salmonella. Um, and then we'll get the weighing scale out because we need to put some honey on this too. So I've had to start throwing in honey because we wanted to put my carbs up to 600. Um, and for me, yeah, that's hard. Like, I'm just not wanting to eat at the moment. So use things like honey, things like jam to just top up those calories a little bit. Shush. You don't want crumbs everywhere because if I get crumbs on the floor, yeah, she'll kick off. I got one crumb on the floor <laughs> yesterday and she's like, oh my God, you're so messy. You get crumbs everywhere. There was one little crumb on the fucking floor. <laughs> All right, I guess I should start eating the wheat mix. Did you already put milk on it? Yeah. That's going to be so soggy. I like my I know, but I need to get it down my neck. See how hardcore I am? I didn't even burn my hands. It's a hardcore. Shut up! No, you didn't. I'm hardcore. So yeah, this is just the reality of it. I just hate eating foods, if I'm honest. Like, I really fucking hate it, but you just gotta do what you gotta do. I don't wanna put this in my mouth right now. I could happily just go to the gym, train, and not have anything. I'll just like have a banana and I'll be absolutely fine, but. You can't do that. 
God, you gotta do things you don't wanna do. If we went on a date and you ate like that in a restaurant, I think I'd walk straight out. Mmm. Babe! Oh, shit! Can't lose any calories. Normal people have butter with bagels, bodybuilders. I don't even know what butter is. So what you gotta do as well when you start eating more food, you gotta blend stuff. Because you just don't wanna eat. It's obviously better to eat whole foods, but you just gotta do what you gotta do to get it in. Ah! 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 Right. Ketchup. Yeah. Put it back in the fridge. You put ketchup in the fridge. You put potatoes in the fridge, you absolute weirdo. You put potatoes in the fridge. No one puts potatoes in the fridge. No one puts potatoes in the fridge. No one puts potatoes in the fridge. No fridge. No fridge. Let's put that egg on. See, this isn't pretty. This is real life bodybuilding. I am an animal. Okay, so yeah, this is breakfast of champions, pre-gym, eggs, I'm not going to, I was going to buy that, but I should I buy this one, maybe that's a bit colder, eggs, wheat a bit, and this is how you get massive, so I'm going to eat this, and I'm going to head off to the gym, right, let me eat in peace now, bye. We're at EP Jungle in Stockport, we're going to do a density session today, posterior, glutes, hamstrings, back. We'll show you a few little clips from it. I've never been to this gym before. It looks good, doesn't it? What's, what's your opinion? Scary. The mic actually ended up dying, so let me do a quick voiceover on these training videos. First exercise is a prime seated curl. And as you can see, it, it well, as I just said as well, it's a prime machine. And what the prime machine's allowed you to do is load different parts of the movement. So you can make the top part of the movement heavier or the bottom part of the movement heavier. In this case, I loaded number two, which is the bottom part of the movement. So it was frying my hamstrings as I came down into the squeeze. Exercise number two, I did want to do a pull at this point, but the racks were taken, there were only two racks, so we went in and did some adductors. Adductors are one of my strongest points. I didn't actually build them from doing this machine. Um, I actually built them from leg press, I think, like a high and wide leg press. But I used to get crazy adductor cramps doing that. But anyway, um, as you can see me performing here, big stretch, big squeeze, easy work for exercise number two. For exercise number three, we were then able to get onto a rack. So I thought, let's full send some RDLs, see how this goes. I've not RDLed in a while. I thought this was a pretty decent lift. What's on there, is it? Four place aside. So yeah, it's a pretty decent lift. You want to make sure you're always moving through the hips. Keep a slight little softness to the knees, but it's always hips, hips backwards, as you can see. Then hips forward, hips backwards, hips forward. Hips always lead this movement. It is a hip hinge movement and we put it in density there to build that whole posterior this was my top set exercise number four i wanted some sort of direct back movement so we went with a prime seated row another bit of prime kit like we used at the start and these are my favorite because what did i say we can load the different profiles of the movement in this case on this set i didn't know because there's three pins on the side it's only loaded on the middle if i was to load it on the top one we would have got less load at the top of the movement and more load at that stretch point um if we would have loaded the bottom we would have got more load on the squeeze point of the movement and less at the beginning range does that make sense but that's why i love prime um and my strap came loose <laughs> let's move on Exercise number five, I wanted to try and load my knee a little bit, so I would love to put a heavy leg press in here in this density workout, something like high and wide press, really focus on driving through the heels, um, some sort of glute press, but my knees have obviously not been great, my right knee have got an injury at the moment, so what we did is we just loaded this with a little bit of weight, gave it 20 reps, and it was a pretty boring set, but 
I got a little bit of a burn where I wanted to get a burn. You got to work around injuries. What's good guys, it's a few days later and I'm just at home editing this video and I wanted to clip this onto the end to apologize that this is all the content that we got. We ended up having to just kind of cut the video there because we both just wanted to leave the gym and go home. Now I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more because it's some real shit. Me and Elle both struggle a little bit with social anxiety and especially in new situations and new surroundings and things that we're not comfortable with. So at that moment, it just both hit us. Even before we got into the gym, the anxiety was building up in the car. We were kind of saying we didn't want to be there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And I know you guys watching or a few of you guys watching might feel the same but you might see me on instagram like ah you might see me on youtube like ah and think oh my god this guy's so social he's so confident he's so this he's so that but really it's just something that i do to push myself out of my comfort zone to grow more but like if you know me me like really know me you'll know i do struggle a lot with social things and my own confidence at times and all that kind of stuff it's all right we get over our anxiety <sighs> So as always, I wanted to keep this real, clip this onto the end, tell you guys a story because if you struggle with that same shit, just keep pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. If I do it, you can do it too. Yes, there will be moments like this where you, your body just shut down and you're like, nah, but at least you've done it and at least you've tried. So stay winning, guys. Drop me a subscribe, drop a comment, whatever you're supposed to say at the end of a YouTube video, and I'll catch you soon.